Alright, I'm starting on a new week of my fitness vlog and I just got back from a doctor's appointment and um, it all went well. She's like, why are you here? Uh, we did talk about uh, my cholesterol and the hypoglycemia, but she said overall I'm like super healthy. She said my cholesterol has been worse in the past, so she's not really too concerned about it. She said... Um, just eat more fish, get more cardio, and, um, you know, uh, she said she re did recommend the red rice bran yeast and, um, fish oil, which I already take krill oil, but I need to order some more krill oil because, it, um, I used the last of mine, and then, uh, niacin. My cat wants to go outside, but she's going to have to wait until I'm done here. Anyways, um, so... <laughs> you understood that, did you? Go ahead and wait downstairs if you want to. Um, and then about the hypoglycemia, she said it is athletic-induced hypoglycemia. She said it's uh, nothing really to worry about, just um, try and eat more protein. And she said that um, my body just metabolizes carbohydrates a lot faster and it burns them up before I eat more, basically. So I get super hungry because uh, my blood sugar drops when I'm athletic. When I've, when, I've, um, when I've gone for a long period of time without eating, especially if I'm more active, um, my body burns the uh, carbohydrates faster. So she said, as long as I eat more protein, then um, that slows that process down because it takes longer for um, protein to metabolize into glucose in uh, your body. So that's great. Um, other than that, um, on my way to the doctor's appointment, I found a cell phone on the ground and um, I got a hold of the guy that, um, that lost his cell phone and he's gonna meet up with me later to get the cell phone and right before the doctor's appointment I got a new deck of Oracle cards custom made by my friend Asia these are absolutely stunning here let me put the camera down these cards are so stunning I'm just going to pull out like a few pictures from here for you to see. Now these or this oracle deck, um, she made, made it special for me, 52 cards, and it has like a blank back that she painted, and, um, and what you're supposed to do is write whatever um, meaning you want each card to mean on the back there with like a paint pen. And then the artwork is absolutely stunning. Let me, I want to show you the mermaid artwork. The mermaid artwork is like so cool. Most of it is mermaid. Here's a mermaid with a crown. Here's an octopus mermaid. What do you even call that an octopus mermaid? There should be a name for that. Mermaid with an octopus in her hair. Love that card. This, this beautiful card here. And then there's these really cool moon cards. Now, I haven't shuffled these yet, and I really want to give them a shuffle to see what they shuffle like. So, let's shuffle these real quick here. And if you are interested in purchasing some of her Oracle cards, because she is willing to make more Oracle cards, or if you're just interested in her artwork, if you want to purchase like a calendar or something with her artwork on it, um, let me know in the comments down below and I will get you in contact with her. Oh, these shuffle. Wonderful.
they feel great in my hands too. She made them five inches, which was perfect for my hands because my hands are slightly bigger than five inches. So they fit in the palm of my hands perfectly. So cool. These crystal cards keep wanting to pop up here. I love this one too. I just love them all. They're all so me. Like me and Asia both share a similar aesthetic. Of course, we're good friends. We used to hang out a lot when we were younger. It's been a long time since I've really gotten to hang out with her. It's so awesome to see her again. Look at this one. So cool. Ooh. And then there's the octopus. Oh, so cool. <laughs> All right. So today has been a great week. It has been excellent. I beat my max squat. And at first I was like a little confused because I miscalculated it. And... It seems like last time my max squat was like 255 pounds or something like that and then um, when I calculated it the first time it was like 195 pounds and then I recalculated it using a calculator at home and it was a uh, 295 pounds so I almost squatted my own body weight and it was ridiculous and I did that 10 times um, so first I did the bar with uh, 245s, then I jumped to the bar with 445s, and then I jumped to the bar with 445s and 335, not 335s, 235s, 235s. And um, I did that like really, really fast. I barely took any rep rest time uh, in between reps. I did 10 reps each. And I barely took any rest time. And, like, as soon as I stopped doing that, like, um, I started shaking really bad because, um, you know, of my, uh, um, hypoglycemia, like, um, it's when strength training can make hypoglycemia worse if, um, you have, um, exercise induced hypoglycemia like I do so um, so yeah that was used up like all of my glucose reserves doing that and I was like shaking and like um, thank goodness Planet Fitness has those candies cause I just like chewed on like six candies and it made me stop shaking which was great and um I was able to finish my workout. I did uh, lunges. I don't think I logged all this stuff, but I did lunges. I think I just lo logged it as like general weightlifting. I did lunges starting out at um, 40, then 50, then 60, 10 reps. And um, I did stair treadmill. And when I do stair treadmill, I don't do it where I'm just like, walking on the treadmill. I do it where I kick my leg back while I'm doing it. So that like works the whole glutes and hamstrings and quads too. So anyways, let's go over what all I've uh, eaten this week. So Monday I had the cabbage and apples for breakfast with some bread and butter. And then cabbage and apples for lunch, cabbage and apples for dinner, and snacks I had was a granola bar, um, and the Tootsie Rolls from the gym, and peanuts, and some toast with Marmite, and Paris tea, and I got in 1 hour and 30 minutes of walking, and 15 minutes of weightlifting. And I was under 1,159 calories. Tuesday, I had Lapsang Sao Chong tea. I had a pot of it for breakfast. 
and some multigrain hot cereal with brown sugar and a box of raisins and butter. And then for lunch, I had a fish taco with a uh, salad, um, veggies, cheese, chocolate cheesecake, carrot cake, um, some blueberry Kool-Aid, and a uh, red delicious apple. And I will insert an image of that. And then for dinner, I had the shrimp and oyster po' boy. Oh, that was so good. And then I put some roasted garlic and some bacon bits on it. And it came with fried okra. And I got a diet Dr. Pepper with strawberry. I'll insert an image of that too. And then snacks I had was these Halloween like pumpkin chocolate chocolates and a uh, Butterfinger. Um, and then I had some green tea, uh, some chocolate chip cookies, uh, s a grilled cheese sandwich, and some tomato soup. And I got in 10 hours of walking, because, you know, I'm walking around at work, walking around um, at group. Um, and then I got in uh, 30 minutes of weightlifting. Oh, and I also, the reason why it's more than usual is because I walked to... Uh, the hospital. So I was under 2,963 calories. And then Wednesday I had the sausage and cabbage and apples for breakfast and a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch and uh, the vegetarian breakfast scramble for dinner with milk and then snacks I had was Paris tea, Earl Grey tea, an oatmeal square, some chocolate chip cookies, and some crackers, and some nuts. And I got in two hours of walking, one hour of house cleaning, and 15 minutes of dancing. And I was under 1,979 calories. Thursday, I had the breakfast scramble and milk, breakfast scramble and milk and breakfast scramble and then I had uh, for snacks uh, chocolate chip cookies nuts uh, porridge with brown sugar butter cream and Bartlett pear and then I had um, some green tea and I did not exercise that day so I was over 312 calories um, Friday I had breakfast scramble um, and an orange for breakfast and for lunch I had breakfast scramble and snacks I had was crackers and I was under 1,121 calories. Saturday I had pita bread and carrots and olives and um, more olives and hummus and Ceylon tea for breakfast more hummus and pita bread and English breakfast tea and olives for lunch and a grilled cheese sandwich with Pedialyte because I had just finished a workout for uh, dinner and Pedialyte's full of electrolytes um, and then I had um, for snacks nuts uh, the uh, Tootsie Pop Tootsie Tootsie rolls, whatever, um, and a um, protein shake, which I'll leave linked on my blog, uh, the recipe, and then I had, uh, um, I got in one hour of house cleaning, one hour of weightlifting, uh, 20 minutes of stair climbing, and two hours of walking, and I was under 993 calories. Sunday, I had hummus, pita bread, olives for breakfast, and lunch, I had a grilled cheese sandwich with coffee, and then for snacks, I had a McDonald's large Coke and toast with Marmite, and I didn't get really any exercise in. I mean, I did walk around a little bit, but not too much, um, and I was under 951 calories. 
And let's see what my week was like. Um, I was under 8,859 calories for the week, so pretty good. Um, I should really start to see more weight loss. In fact, I have been noticing a lot more weight loss lately, um, especially since I've been lifting heavier and heavier. So um, I am feeling pretty happy about my progress right now. Um, I'm eating pretty healthy too, like most of it's home cooked meals. Um, I get sweets every once in a while, but most of it's pretty healthy. Um, and I've been eating lots of vegetarian lately, which helps. Um, although sometimes I do get mad protein cravings, but you know, I can sometimes be just as satisfied with uh, vegetarian proteins as meat proteins. Um, you know, because I didn't really eat that much meat at all this week, and I'm I'm doing okay. Um, yeah, so cool.